This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen P.D. Wheatstraw, a black exploitation comedy from 1977, directed by Cliff Rockmore and starring Rudy Ray Moore. While he portrays P.D. in this movie, he's still the same smooth-talking kung fu comedian as he's always been in previous films. This time, instead of the cops, his rivals are Leroy and Skillet, whose comedy act, not to mention their lives, are threatened by Petey's own act opening soon. Petey refuses to compromise, so in retaliation they do the best thing they can think to do, kill him. Surprisingly, it works, but Petey is given a second chance by none other than the devil himself. The only catch? Petey must marry his daughter, who is described in so many words as one of the ugliest women that anybody has ever seen. Petey reluctantly agrees, and must now not only use this chance to exact revenge upon Leroy and Skillet, but find a way out of this deal with the devil before it's too late. Unsurprisingly, this movie is just as surreal as The Human Tornado, the previous film starring Rudy Ray Moore. It is perhaps a bit better written, with a narrative that doesn't deviate far from the main story thread in favor of some genre tangent or a random idea. In fact, this might be the most coherent of his films so far, though that doesn't necessarily mean that it's perfect. In fact, it kind of has a wavering to how it paces its story, ramping things up and slowing itself down repeatedly over the runtime. The lingering pace within these scenes is less obvious this time because it's at least connected to the story at hand, but it's still a sign of the cracks in the production, though it is less to do with having too many ideas, and more that there are fewer this time, or at least not many that would move the story along. One scene in particular sticks out as an attempt at some multi-layered comedy which ultimately fails beyond one level. Otherwise, there's a good amount of time dedicated more to the characters and performances, not only Rudy Ray Moore, but also Leroy and Skillet, whose back-and-forth antics are pretty amusing at times, and the devil, whose casual demeanor makes for some entertaining contrast to Petey's extreme mannerisms. The rest of the cast has their ups and downs, which is par for the course in a black exploitation film like this, but naturally they do have their chance to shine, even if it's only just in action scenes or as an exaggerated role within the story. On that note, the production values in the film are the same as they ever were. The budget is next to nothing, and the film makes the most of it. There are a few set pieces, but otherwise it would seem as though many shots are done in pre-existing locations, possibly poorly redecorated homes of the cast or crew. The outdoor scenes are obviously a case of shooting with what you got, though there actually aren't too many scenes set outside for whatever reason. Anyways, the other usual production flaws and inconsistencies are present, from weak cinematography and framing of characters, to editing and cutting that is essentially non-existent as a creative tool. Hell, I'm pretty sure the movie was mostly assembled with as few cuts as possible, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's just that it feels like that. Whatever the case, I think the same remarks I've said about Rudy Ray Moore's other films still apply to this one. Even if these are far from perfect works of cinema, they're the movies that the filmmakers wanted to make and see for themselves. As they are today, they're relics of an era long since past, and they still hold up pretty well. For me, at least. P.D. Wheatstraw, Cliff Rockmore, 1977. Three and a half stars. I'd go ahead and recommend seeing it for yourself. That's it for me. If you like this review, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I think I went on a bit of a tangent at the end there. I didn't even say anything about the film itself. 
I didn't know if I should make a trend out of that or not. <laughs>